Thank you, Melissa. Hi, thanks for joining me today. If you're on the call or if you're listening to the recording, thanks for tuning in. And I'm the nutritional health coach at Natural Grocers. I work at the one that's on North Academy Boulevard. Um, and if you're interested in more classes that I do and you want to see them live, I do classes in the store as well. My next class is coming up. It's on October 25th. It's a Tuesday at 5.30 called the Health, Health by Chocolate. So fun class. Most people do love chocolate, but it's great to know that there are health benefits um, and I'll be cooking a healthy chocolate recipe if you're interested in joining me live. The next class that I'm offering for Pikes Peak Library District is in person, and I'm really excited about that. It'll be at the 21C Library on November 8th at 2 p.m., and it's called the um, Taste Tea and Nourishing. So we're going to talk about seven or eight different teas and the health benefits of each one of them, as well as how to prepare properly a perfect cup of tea. And so that'll be fun if you want to join me in person for that class at the 21C Library on November 8th. Besides classes, I also offer one-on-one -on -one nutrition and health coaching sessions. So that's something you can find out by appointment. You can find the, um, a link for that uh, on our naturalgrocers.com website. It's naturalgrocers.com forward slash coaching, and you can sign up uh, for a coaching session. You can also call me at the store to uh, the phone number there is 719-577-2500. So the class that I'm offering today is called the Power of Mushroom Supplements. This is a condensed kind of version of um, a couple different mushrooms. We're really going to talk about the mushroom supplements that are out there. There is a whole, a whole field of mycology research, and so there's a lot of great research that supplement companies are using um, to help support their products that they're selling now. And I'm really excited to share this information with you and hope that all of you, like me, will be excited about this um, fungi kingdom and want to learn more. There's a lot of research out there. And um, mushrooms are so amazing because they have, pro they probably predate us. Fungi has been on the earth for over 1.3 billion years. So let's get started. I do, before we get started, I have to remind you that this class is not intended to diagnose or treat or mitigate any disease, and that dietary supplements, even mushrooms, can interact with certain medications. So you want to make sure that you're talking with your doctor or pharmacist before you start a new supplement regime. Um, specifically with mushrooms, they can interact with um, antibiotics, anticoagulants, um, certain diabetic drugs, and the intravenous glucose. So just make sure you're checking um, with those that know before you start combining prescriptions and supplements. So I love working for natural grocers because their number one founding principle is nutrition education. They want to offer that to their customers to help them make an educated decision on their health as well as the foods that they eat to support the health of their bodies as well as the health of the planet. We only carry the highest quality products. We only carry 100% organic produce. And in our meat, dairy, and egg department, we have very high standards with the farmers that we are um, doing business with and how they're treating animals, including um, animals that are naturally, naturally raised, organic, only grass-fed or pasture-fed. Um, and if you don't see a brand in our dairy department that you buy elsewhere, it's because it's probably a concentrated animal feedlot dairy or confinement dairy um, because our cows all have to be um, grazed for at least 120 days out of the year or all um, of the year if they can. That's what you'll find in our dairy department. We also want to offer health foods at an affordable price. You'll see that throughout the store. We do love to support our communities and we offer great education for our employees so they can support their health as well and help you when you come in and ask um, questions. So let's get on to the mushroom supplements. The um, mushroom kingdom may seem kind of mysterious um, and it it often intimidates people because some mushrooms you can cook with, 
some offer and it's scary when you're foraging and you don't know what you're doing um you got to be really cautious and some are um have psychedelic effects or are hallucinogenic um so just to clarify today so we're only going to talk about the mushroom supplements um and the many ways that they can support your health so um Great news for people that don't like the taste of mushrooms and are a little worried about those hallucinogenic mushrooms. So our mushrooms um, are part of the animal kingdom or the plant kingdom. What do you guys think? Well, they are actually neither. They kind of have their own kingdom of themselves, the kingdom of fungi. Um, they're not considered plant or animal because um, plants, um, create chlorophyll, right? Um, and mushrooms do not, they do not create chlorophyll. Um, they have a different method for manufacturing food and energy. The magical world of fungi extends beyond the dinner table. Uh, and some believe it can even save the planet. Mushrooms are also having a major moment uh, in research and um, it's almost, um, and, and then this is being reflected also in our supplement um, companies and the, the products that are coming in and doesn't seem to be slowing down. It's almost like a mushroom boom of, of products, um, basically that has been um, the last few years, but the last decade where we've had a lot of research. You can find research on mushrooms at mushroomreferences.com. It's just a, a website that uh, publishes uh, research papers as soon as they come out. Um, so they're a recent um, um, dated research papers on all of the mushrooms that you see here. I, I just from the Garicon, 37 studies on, on cordyceps and even more on lion's mane. So you don't have to take my word for it. You can go and do a little more research for yourself too. Um, but it turns out that mushrooms do hold the power to support healthy immune function. They can help balance our blood sugar. They can support our brain health, our liver, our respiratory health, even hormone and um, balance, and they can boost energy levels. So a lot of the mushrooms have properties that overlap, like almost all of them support the immune system, but each kind of has its own unique way that it can support our health. And so you can mix and match and have fun exploring the health benefits um, that mushrooms can bring you. So let's cover just a little bit of mushroom lingo and kind of the anatomy of the mushrooms. So you'll know what I'm talking about as we're going through. So the fruiting body is the part of the mushroom that grows above ground, right? So it's the, the cap and the stem. And that's um, the part that we typically think of as a mushroom. Um, but the fruiting body is often edible and it frequently is found in that classic shape. The other part that a lot of people don't really know much about is the mycelium. So those are the roots of the, the mushroom and those are the, the part of the mushroom that help with the transfer of nutrients into the soil and to other plants that are nearby as well as carbon into the soil. The mycelium forms when spores drop down um, into and then they germinate into hyphae or tubular kind of feathery filaments that go out like roots. Um, and they can cover very large proportions. It's almost like tree roots, you know, they can go really far underground. Um, for example, anytime you walk over an area where you see fruiting bodies or the tops of the mushrooms, or maybe even if you don't see them, um, you can um, assume that there are, that you are actually probably walking on top of the mycelium of the mushroom, the roots of the mushroom. And if you happen to be walking over areas of Eastern Oregon, you might be walking over the mycelium that is considered to be one of the largest shroom there that um, its mycelium spans about 2,400 acres and, and weighs about 7,500 tons. And it's also believed to be anywhere from 2,000 to 8,000 year old. Pretty cool. So the mycelium um, share things with other plants like water and phosphorus. 
phosphorus and nitrogen. And then the plants near them share um, an exchange of carbohydrates. So this mutually beneficial relationship with fungi and plants is really powerful so that um, the plants that might be an entirely different species can exchange nutrients with one another through this micellar matrix. It's almost like um, nature's form of the internet. <laughs> There's information that can be traveled along the mycelium to other plants in the forest. All right, so today we're really just going to, and for the sake of this class, we're going to highlight eight species of mushrooms that are sold as individual supplements. And um, the others, other supplements out there too that we're not going to cover, like an oyster mushroom and noki and others, but we're going to highlight just these eight. Um, the reishi mushroom, the maitake mushroom, cordyceps, shiitake, turkey tail, chaga mushroom, lion's mane, and agaricon. So get ready to learn a little bit about each one of these. We're going to start with reishi. Reishi, um, we can call it the original chill pill because it is um, great to support better sleep, um, a healthy stress response, in addition to those things, it can also support healthy seasonal challenges, whether it's allergy responses or even um, supporting our immune system during cold and flu season. But a little history on reishi. It is one of the mushrooms that have been used for many, many years um, for a broad health support of um, properties for over 2,000 years, especially in Asia. Um, reishi in Japanese it means divine or spiritual mushroom. Rishi is also called like the queen of mushrooms for its broad health supportive properties. Um, Lingzi is another name for Rishi in Chinese and it means tree of life mushroom. Um, so Rishi is so amazing because it has over a hundred different polysaccharides and triterpenoids. So these are compounds that have been isolated from both the mycelia and the fruiting bodies of reishi. So triterpenoid compounds that are in the, the reishi have, as well as the polysaccharides, have immune modulating effects in the body. Tri the triterpenoids also have kind of like steroid-like compounds, they're steroid-like compounds that have been shown to inhibit cholesterol synthesis, so good for support, supporting a healthy heart. Um, they can help inhibit allergic response and histamine um, levels. And um, the mushroom extracts have, are great for helping support bronchitis, asthma, or seasonal allergies. So in China, reishi is used as standard treatment for insomnia. And animal research has demonstrated that the fruiting body of reishi does significantly increase total sleep time, as well as non-rapid eye movement or non-NREM sleep, which helps to deepen sleep. There's other research that shows that um, reishi is effective treatment for neurasthenia, which is medical um, condition characterized by just physical and mental exhaustion typical stress response over a period of time, right? Um, so the study that it was eight weeks where they used 1800 milligrams of reishi three times a day. And it showed that um, the people that were taking reishi had significant improvements in symptoms like fatigue and overall sense of well-being. Reishi also can, um, because of a lot of different um, factors, um, in reishi, it can support a healthy response to seasonal um, irritants and allergens. It does have a kind of a reputation for just overall immune health, but it helps to modulate inflammation within the immune system. It supports um, free radical scavenging and um, both of those things help with a healthy respiratory response and healthy lung function. It also helps to um, maintain a healthy histamine response, so great for seasonal allergy support and helping your respiratory system. So next up that we're going to talk about is the mushroom chaga. 
which is chaga is um the big daddy that we've um mushroom that we've deemed the um, beautifier or the gut nurturer. And so it's kind of funny because it's actually an ugly mushroom, sorry Chaga, <laughs> um, but it is one of the richest sources of free radical scavenging compounds that you can find in nature. Um, it, because of the, um, the melanin that's in Chaga, it also contains the antioxidant SOD in high amounts and zinc. And you probably know that melanin is responsible for skin pigmentation, but it's also important for your overall skin health and a key factor for maintaining healthy eyes and hair too. So the more melanin you have, um, the less sensitive your skin is to light and sun and wind burn, um, and toxins in the air, as well as solar radiation. So you can also um, support your eyes and have better vision and stronger or lusher hair when you're consuming chaga regularly. Besides healthy hair and skin, chaga supports um, a healthy immune response. The polysaccharides that are in chaga, um, specifically beta-glucans that's found in, in chaga, can uh, boost the body's ability to produce lymphocytes, the type of white blood cell that regulates the immune system um, and its response to infectious microorganisms. Chaga is also um, packed full of antioxidants. It actually blows acai, chocolate, and green tea out of the water for the level of auric value that it has com comparatively. And that last one that I missed there, it, um, one dose of a jewel extracted chaga packs the same number of free radical scavengers as 30 pounds of carrots. <laughs> so um, chaga is also awesome for supporting the health of the gut lining. If we have a healthy gut lining that helps to support our immune system in there, we, about 60 to 70 percent of our immune system is in the gut. Uh, and that's where you, we absorb nutrients as well. Um, and if it's not healthy there and we have inflammation or we have irritation in the gut lining, we're not going to um, be healthy overall. In fact, during, um, so chaga can be a beautifier and it also boosts the immune system, especially in the gut, which can support inflammation and whole body wellness. Chaga also, um, it's almost like coffee because it's such a dark color. If you take the chaga powder and you pour hot water over it, you can make a drink that almost tastes like coffee too. And it was used as a coffee substitute in Finland um, during World War II when coffee was scarce. Uh, Finland, especially in the Finnish forest, there is like the largest growth area, like wild growth of chaga in, in the world. Um, it's estimated between 4 million to 10 million pounds of chaga grow in the Finnish woodlands. Um, and that's actually where a lot of um, the researchers um, collect data on chaga. And in fact, the founder of Four Sigmatic, which is a line that we carry. Their, um, we carry their mushroom uh, powders that you can use for tea, and they also have a coffee where they combine um, mushrooms with coffee. The, uh, the founder of Four Sigmatic is from Finland too, and he worked at the University of um, Helsinki, and a lot of his research did many different studies on um, chaga and how it supports healthy immune function. Um, particularly its potential use in flu vaccinations and anti-cancer applications. Um, so I'm guessing a lot of chaga coffee is fueling their brains when they're doing that research. So next up is cordyceps. Um, we call it kind of the fatigue fighter and the restorer of health and vitality. Um, and it's kind of a, the perfect name for cordyceps because it does play a great role in energy support, um, exercise, libido, and healthy respiration. Cordyceps is actually a parasitic fungi. It, um, as you can kind of see in the picture there, when it's found in the wild, it grows and feeds off of hibernating caterpillars. 
<laughs> um, and this is usually found in very high altitudes, over 12,000 feet. When com supplement companies grow it for the use of supplements, they don't um, grow it off of caterpillars. They grow it off a different medium. <laughs> but when you're foraging and finding cordyceps in the wild, you would find it this way. Um, cordyceps, cordyceps has a unique ability to support and boost ATP. And ATP is our cellular energy. So at that cellular level, cordyceps helps to um, boost the energy that we can produce in the cells. Um, it, cordyceps extract also increases the energy that's available to our muscles and other tissues. So that allows um, athletes and anyone who is exercising to be able to exercise longer and actually, you know, go harder before they fatigue. Another great thing for exercisers is that cordyceps augments oxygen uptake. So that allows you to breathe in more oxygen um, and it can really support athletic performance. I do have a customer that shops at our store that tells me he loves using cordyceps as he's going up the incline, um, to, as he's going up an altitude to help his oxygen uptake as well as his energy and ability to, to keep on going. Um, so cordyceps also reduces the accumulation of toxins um, lactic acid. When you're exercising, your muscles start to fatigue and that soreness that you feel after exercising can be due to the buildup of lactic acid. So cordyceps may be helpful for recovery too, to help you recover from exercise and help um, to prevent the accumulation of too much toxic lactic acid. Um, so you're not sore um, for so long that you can't get back and start exercising again. Um, Another way that cordyceps enhances the available energy to the cell is that it increases insulin sensitivity so that the cell is better able to take up that glucose and get that energy from the food that you're eating. This is also great long term to support, um, to allow your cells um, to take up that energy and lower your risk of diabetes, heart disease, and other chronic um, conditions re related to blood sugar issues. So if you are needing a little bit of a boost with your exercise or your, your workouts, cordyceps is a great uh, mushroom to try. It helps keep you performing at your best. Um, and also, it cordyceps contains the component adenosine, which is in the A in ATP. So that's another reason it helps to produ produce that energy within the cell. Um, so and that might be a great thing, too, to use if you're trying to get off caffeine. Cordyceps is a great thing to support healthy energy without giving you um, the caffeine effect so you don't have the crash. Um, so you might consider replacing your morning cup of coffee or tea with a cordyceps or a cordyceps type tea from Four Sigmatic. And another side boost is that um, cordyceps supports the immune system. A lot of athletes and people that train really hard and push their bodies to the max can get sick a lot easier because their immune system then um, kind of takes a beating. So cordyceps is nice also that it helps to support a healthy immune system. Next up is lion's mane. Um, lion's mane is kind of that friendly, fuzzy looking mushroom um, that looks like a waterfall almost, um, but there is a waterfall of research on lion's mane out there um, for supporting healthy mood, um, healthy memory, and focus. Um, if you're looking for a natural brain boost, lion's mane is your, your mushroom that you would consider. Um, it also supports nervous system function. So let's take a minute to kind of explore a little bit more about lion's mane. So the, both the mycelium, which is the roots and the fruiting body of my own mane have been shown to be supportive for the brain. Um, lion's mane has the unique ability to support healthy levels of NGF, nerve growth factor, as well as BDNF, brain-derived neurotropic factor. Both of those play important roles in neuronal growth and neural health, and that they allow neurons to 
to communicate and support neuronal plasticity within the brain, which is essential for um, learning as well as supporting memory function. Lion's mane has also been shown to support um, myelin production. And so myelin is the protective sheath that covers nerves. And that allows nerve signals to be sent and received quickly and efficiently. Myelin is, part, um, the breakdown of myelin is part of the disease process that results in MS and even with Alzheimer's. So maintaining healthy myelin is really important for um, improving mild cognitive impairments. Um, so it's a great one to support healthy nerves too. So um, great for um, both of those. Lion's mane um, has been shown that when um, it's taken regularly, it really supports healthy brain function. When you stop taking it in a study, it showed that it, those health benefits didn't continue. So it's one of those that you do take kind of ongoing to get the health benefits. It's never too late to start taking that lion's mane and um, support your brain. So turkey tail is the next one. Um, while all of the mushrooms do have uh, a certain role in supporting the health of the immune system, turkey tail is kind of the master of immunity um, in that it really supports a robust immune response. And it also supports healthy digestion. I mentioned a little bit earlier about how about 60 to 70% of our immune system, our immune cells are um, located in the gut. So anything that does support the health of digestion is great for our immune system, right? Turkey tail has a lot of compounds that are like prebiotics. They're food for our good bacteria to support our microbiome. If we have a healthy microbiome, um, those um, healthy flora in our gut actually produce immune complexes that support our immune system. So turkey tail really is um, best known for its immune supportive properties. And they also, and it also supports the modulation of the immune system. So the immune system isn't overreactive or underreactive. Turkey tail um, does have um, two unique beta glucans. All the mushrooms contain beta glucans, but turkey tail is the only one that has this PSK and PSP. Um, those um, beta glucans have the ability to regenerate live blood cells and stimulate the activity and creation of T cells, macrophages, and natural killer cells. And that enables the immune system to once again ward off and destroy pathogens. Turkey tail is also great for supporting healthy lung function and respiratory wellness. So yeah, that's a great one if you're feeling your immune system needs um, a boost. Maitake is a cool mushroom, especially if you're wanting to maintain a healthy weight, if you have some issues with blood sugar, and even um, for healthy digestion. Um, and because just about all three of these, blood sugar and healthy digestion, or those two, blood sugar and healthy digestion, are key for supporting all health goals, I really think maitake is a great one to start with. Um, because it promotes healthy blood sugar metabolism and a healthy digestive tract, um, which both of those can help maintain a healthy weight naturally. So what makes um, maitake different from other mushrooms is that it has a component that they're calling an SX fraction, um, named after syndrome X. So syndrome X is um, a condition where you have diabetes as well as um, heart issues, hypertension, and obesity altogether. Um, so this SX fraction compound has the potential to reduce blood glucose levels, healthy and maintain healthy blood pressure and um, healthy weight. So it does wonders for people that are um, suffering from diabetes and obesity. It also has kind of like a modulatory effect that so can help when you have high blood sugar as well as low blood sugar. 
So uh, probably you're thinking you might need some flashcards at this point for the <laughs> mushrooms we've already covered. But we do have two more really cool mushrooms to highlight, and those are shiitake and agaricon. Shiitake mushroom, you've probably heard of before. That's one that is used in, in culinary, um, a lot of um, the culinary world. A lot of foodies love it because it has a unique flavor that it can add to a dish. So eating just regular um, um, culinary shiitake is great for your health. When you find it in the supplement form, oftentimes it's in higher concentrations than you would find um, in your grocery store shelves um, or in your produce department, should I say. But shiitake is what we call the liver champion because it supports healthy liver detoxification by helping the health of the liver. It allows us to have healthy lipid levels. Our, our liver is the organ that helps create cholesterol in the body um, and collect triglycerides. And then when your liver is working well, you can clear out excess toxins, right? So you can actually, then it supports healthy and glowing skin. Since our skin is our lar largest organ of detox, if your liver is congested, you're not going to have healthy skin with um, in that case. So the shiitake mushroom supports the health of our skin from the inside out. Shiitake can also be good for heart health um, because shiitake mushrooms have sterile compounds that uh, interfere with the production of cholesterol in the liver. They kind of look chemically similar to cholesterol. And so the liver's like, oh, okay, we don't need to produce as much cholesterol. <laughs> um, shiitake also contains potent phytonutrients. Phytonutrients are compounds that are found in like plants that act like vitamins and minerals in the body, but they're not a vitamin or mineral. Um, these phytonutrients, um, including beta-glucans, the lentinin, and the eratidine. So these two compounds they've isolated. They can help prevent um, things like cholesterol and other compounds from sticking to blood vessel walls and forming plaque buildup. Um, so that's help, helpful to maintain healthy circulation and blood flow and healthy blood pressure. Um, so the lentinin is especially powerful for for liver health and by um, it also supports detoxification so it's uh, again one of those that helps with a healthy skin appearance um, so people don't often connect breakouts with the health of their liver um, a fully functioning liver also equates to healthy skin the compounds um, the lentinin and the ratidine also help to modulate inflammation um, within the skin so if you're needing um, some liver Liver health, shiitake mushroom is definitely going to be the one you, you reach for. And last but not least, we have agaricon. Its name sounds like some sort of dragon name from a fairy tale, right? <laughs> um, well, agaricon is a very old mushroom, and, but it's relatively new to the, the world of modern research. Um, Paul Stamets, I feel, is one of the characters, he's done a lot of research and he owns host defense mushrooms. He's one of the people that have brought agaricon um, to the, the limelight as far as for research. But we're calling agaricon um, the cough, sniffle, and sneeze uh, fighter because it's one that would really support your immune system when you need it. Turkey tail, you can take, you know, to boost your immune system all um, throughout the year, or you can take turkey tail when you get, you know, you're coming down with something. But agaricon is the best one to really have around for those acute responses. Um, it has maximum immune supportive properties and a full spectrum of unique nutrients that can help maintain healthy microbial and bacterial balance in the body. It's kind of interesting, uh, but with the way um, label label claims are regulated for supplements. They cannot say anything about how they um, would help a disease because then that would be considered a drug. So supplement labels really can only tell you how um, nutrients or mushrooms in this case support the health of the body. 
And so the label on this um, supplement here says it contains a full spectrum of constituents. That's all they could think of <laughs> that wouldn't construe that it is going to um, have any effect on any sort of disease. But Agaricon is the great, the one that I have around. And when I start feeling like I'm coming down with something, my kids, uh, mushrooms are safe enough to give to children, which is awesome. I will open a capsule and put it in applesauce for them um, if they can't swallow capsules. So I know that was a lot of mushrooms. <laughs> so hopefully now you understand how each of these really cool fungi species earn their nicknames and Let's just kind of review really quick. Rishi is the great one for stress, especially coming into the holiday season here. It's a great one to have to help you chill. It helps support healthy sleep and stress response and seasonal immunity. Um, turkey tail is the master of immunity by supporting your robust immune response and healthy digestion. My talkie mushroom is a healthy weight hero because it supports healthy blood sugar balance and digestion as well. When you have better digestion of nutrients um, and healthy microbiome in the gut, um, we have uh, the ability to have better metabolic health. And cordyceps is the restorer of health and vitality as well as the fatigue fighter. It's a great one for exercisers or people that really wanna support oxygenation and respiration of the lungs, helps you recover from exercise. Um, and then shiitake is a liver champion, which in turn can be good for healthy lipid levels and glowing skin. Lion's mane is the brain's best friend. Don't forget that one. It can support healthy mood, memory, and focus, as well as nerve health. Chaga is the gut nurturer and the beautifier to support healthy hair, skin, and uh, as well as the health of the gut lining. And then a, lastly, Agaricon is the cough, sniffle, and sneeze fighter because of its um, ability to offer maximum immune response. So really, whatever your health goal is, mushroom supplements can help you achieve it. They can support um, many areas of health, including immune system function, brain health, liver health, sinus and respiratory function, healthy blood sugar, healthy weight maintenance, as well as energy levels. Um, these are two really great references if, if, if uh, I have stimulated you to look into some research on mushrooms. Um, the book Mycelium, Mycelium Running by Paul Stamets. I have that book here. Um, it's a great book on giving you information on how to cultivate mushrooms if you're interested in the life cycle of mushrooms and the chemistry on mushrooms, um, as well as just research on a lot of the commonly used mushrooms. As you can see, it's got some really cool pictures as far as how to grow mushrooms in the forest, how to find them, forage them, um, and also the health benefits of mushrooms. The Healing Mushrooms by Taro Isocopola. Um, I'm not sure if I said his name right, but he is the founder of Four Sigmatic. This book's great too. It's a little bit more of a practical guide and it is a culinary guide too. So using a lot of the research, similar research that I've presented today, um, but also recipes. And I love that he's got some um, in the middle I love to see pictures of recipes that have already been done, but he's got some great pictures of things like um, cordyceps coconut water, there's a reishi lemonade, there's a chai chaga um, recipe in here, uh, my taki muff muffins, if you can see that one down there, that one looks good, uh, a miso seaweed soup, um, a turkey tail carob elixir, that looks kind of yummy. <laughs> so if you're interested in finding some ways to use mushrooms in cooking that have a health benefit, but health benefit as well as um, a yummy, um, tasty kind of way to support your immune system, his book is a great book to look at. And then we do have a customer literature file that you can get when you're in the store. Um, Melissa will attach this for you or email it to you <laughs> if you're attending today. Um, but if not, you can come into the store and ask for a copy of that customer literature file if you are interested. 
One last thing I wanted to highlight was that not only do mushrooms feed us and supplement us into optimal health, but mushrooms may even save the world. There is a newly deemed um, research into how mushrooms can support the health of our soils. And it's called mycorestoration uh, because mushrooms can help um, concentrate carbon and nutrients in the soil. Um, they can actually help to rehabilitate forests. So I think um, the more that we explore um, this mysterious magical fungi kingdom, the more our eyes will be opened to how we truly can support our own health and the health of the planet. Um, so there's lots of research into that as well. Paul Stamets is a leader into um, using research to show how mushrooms can support the health of our bees and our trees and rehabilitate the soil. So thank you so much for your time and attention today. I will hold on for questions if anything came up during this presentation. If you're listening live, um, you are welcome to ask some questions. There is one question in the chat okay. and it's, are there supplements that combine some of the mushrooms? Yeah, yeah, so you can get them separately or you can find them in combinations. Um, Sol Array has combinations of all the mushrooms. Host Defense also, they have something called Stamit 7, um, which is a great one to take on a daily basis. And they also have another one that has more mushrooms all together. And then if you look in the different sections of the store, we might like um, Host Defense makes a liver support product that has um, shiitake and milk thistle so it combines mushrooms with herbs to kind of um, give you the combination of that effect. Um, there's also great respiratory um, product from host events called Breathe that contains chaga, cordyceps, and reishi all together. So yes, there are ways to combine them in a supplement um, where you can get a little bit of all of the mushrooms um, to support your health. I put one link in there for the solar array. I couldn't okay, catch awesome. all of them, but there's yeah, a link yeah. to get you started. <laughs> Perfect. As I said, you know, there's a mushroom boom of supplements and research. And also you can go to that mushroomreferences.com if you want to see the studies that are coming out um, on different mushrooms. And I was just looking for that link so I could put it in the chat as well for anyone. Yeah. And there it is. And I will send out the handouts shortly to um, everyone. So thank you for this presentation, Don. I learned a lot. I was taking notes <laughs> so I could get some mushroom supplements. Awesome. And I just want to plug Don's in-person class um, in November at the East Library, a tea tasting. And I did put the link in the chat if you wanted to register for that class as well. So thank you, Don, and thank you, everyone, for joining us today. You're welcome. Thank you so much for having me, and thanks for joining.